there. Do you like making shaker cards? Nothing like combining a shaker card with a child's birthday card. They love how it shakes and how it makes noise. But hey, who doesn't? I know I sure do. Welcome to Stampin' with Diane. I'm Diane Evans, an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to make this shaker card. See what I mean? You just have to shake it as soon as you get it, right? Anyways, um, we're going to use a combination of stamps and dies and designer series paper to make this card. So what we're going to need to make this card, of course, this is Bonanza Buddies uh, bundle. Isn't it cute with the toucan, the koala bear, and this is the lion down there and the dies that go along with it. Then you have the birthday, um, it's called Birthday Bonanza DSP, and I've got some pieces in here, but this is um, birthday candles, ice cream cones, lion, and um, a smaller version of all those birthday um, balloons. These with the toucans, and also there's some adorable uh, Walla bear ones. Now, uh, some of these dies, this is the toucan, it will cut out, um, and I don't even think I've got a piece here that it would cut out. Oh, here, there's one in here. And it would cut out this toucan, the die, but also the stamps cut that out. There's one to make the line, and this koala bear cuts out these koala bears there as well. And then you have the banners and a bunch of different fun things to play with. So we're gonna be using this um, designer series paper as well to make this card. So what you need as far as the paper goes, I'm just going to put that off to the side a bit because we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you what we need there. So we're going to use, because we're using for the base, we have thick Whisper White. And trust me, when I say this is a lot heavier and it's sturdier, the card stands up better and everything else. Now this thick Whisper White is five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter there. So let's go ahead and just put that down. Now I know I've got my bone folder in here. There we go. Oops, sorry about that. So we're just going to make sure that that's good and scored. And then the designer series paper. Uh, this is Clips. Pool. It looks like Pool Party, but it's supposed to be Calypso Coral and Bermuda Bay, but it's on the back of the koala bear. I've always been one. It really upsets me to use the back side of my favorite kind of uh, design a series paper, but I've got a solution for that. I now buy two packs of paper. It just doesn't make sense to just hoard it and not use it, right? Are you one of those hoarders? I know I used to be, but I'm now getting to the point I want to use my um, designer series paper. Okay, then you're also going to need, um, Oh, this piece of designer series paper was measured at four inches by five and a quarter. I'll be putting all these measurements down below and also in the blog post. I have a piece of Bermuda Bay and it's three and three eighths by four and a half. And I also have another piece that's one by four inches. I also have a piece of Whisper White, and it is uh, three and a quarter by four and three eighths, and I also have a one inch square. I, the window sheet is the same measurement as the Whisper White, and that is three and a quarter by four and three eighths. Piece of Daffodil Delight, and it is one by four inches. Some of this, scraps of the designer series paper, this is on the back of the Toucan one, that should measure one by three eighths, but we can get this out and we're using this for the banner and see, I can cut that out like that. So that works good. Now I've gone ahead and done an awful lot of this cutting and everything else. And the reason I've done that is to save time during the video. So let's see, I'm gonna need this. This piece here, I have used the Simply, I believe it's, yeah. The stitch so sweetly dies, and I've used this larger one there, and I've got what I call a frame out of there, so we need that. And um, I am going to go right ahead now, this is the wrong side, and I'm using Tombow glue, so I'm just going to put a thin thread around here. And just... And of course, once, whoops. And this is just to put our window sheet on for our shaker card. 
when we use Tombow glue, we like to let it just sit up just a bit so that it doesn't ooze out between the layers of the cards. Come on, there we go. I'll be using that Tombow glue throughout the time. So that's basically what we're gonna do is take our window sheet off and we'll put that on there. Now, just while I'm letting that dry, um, we're going to be using Grapefruit Grow ink. And just to remind you, this will be retiring at the beginning of June. Bermuda Bay and some Memento ink. I've also brought in some blends um, because we're just gonna do on the inside of this card, we have a little toucan in here and I've cut that part out. So I'll show you how that gets done as well. Anyways, this is Dark Clips of Coral. This is Light Mango Melody and this is Light uh, Pumpkin Pie. We're also going to be using our stitch label dies, our rectangle stitch label dies and I'm using this one. Another thing we're going to be using because we're doing a shaker card are these foam adhesive strips. They're very, very handy to have. And something from Celebration, and that is the metallic baker's twine and sequins. We're going to be using the sequins out of there, so I'll take those out as well. I think I've got that. If I miss anything, we'll go along as we go along. So I'm just going to take this, this window sheet and I want to put something dark underneath it just so that I can see it. Hmm. I'll put this on here. I want to make sure that it goes. There we go. And because I let it dry a little bit, it's not oozing out the ends or anything like that. We'll just let that sit up. Now that two by two piece of Whisper White that we used, I cut that out with the toucan thing there, and I've already done it with my Stamparatus. I've done my template with it, which I tend to do ahead of time. I'm gonna bring in one of the pieces that I've done. And now I could have cut this toucan, like I say, out of the designer series paper here, but I, I wanted to, I want this for something else. And then I want to show you how, by using the Stamparatus, if I don't get it dark enough, I can get it good and dark um, by stamping it again and again with the, the Stamparatus. Like I say, I've set the template up. I've done a video on that as well. Let's put that like that. And we're just going to put an equal pressure down on there. This, sometimes it does happen like this, and this is perfect because you can actually sit there and just rub this around like that. Just take that off, and there we have. Nice and dark, right? Okay, now the blends, what I did with the blends, I just used the light paper pumpkin here. Mango Melody. I use the light one as well. And then the Calypso Coral, I just used the dark one down here. I'm not doing too much coloring with it. We could have done these also with our markers as well. It wouldn't have mattered if we had gone ahead and done it that way. Okay. Then on the inside, let's go ahead and stamp the inside of the card and then we don't have any of the stamping. We'll go do all the stamping. Because it is photopolymer, um, on the Stamparatus I used the extra foam on there, but because it is photopolymer um, stamps, I'm using my um, piercing mat. Make sure that you have a piercing mat that doesn't have the holes already pierced in there. And the reason being for that is you don't want those holes to kind of give where you would lose part of your impression from your stamping. So I'm going to just stamp Happy Birthday in Grapefruit Grove. I'm going to be sad to see this, co this color go. But it is, in this new mini catalog, it's covered in an awful lot of different um, designer series papers. So I'm just going to stamp the Happy Birthday on the inside. 
And then I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay. And there's this little piece here. And this is actually the pom-pom. Where is it? This is actually the pom-pom that goes, or the thing that goes on top of the, the hat. But I'm just going to use that for a bit of decoration on here. So I'll just take the Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to do one, two, three generation of stamping on there. And then that little toucan, and where did he go? We can just put him in there so the inside of the card's already done. Um, kind of um, adhesive do you like best? I, I tend to want to use as many different adhesives on one project as I can. I remember a funny story. My dad would came into my craft room and he goes, oh my goodness, he says, how many different kinds of stuff have you got to stick stuff with? And I I was sort of taken back because I would have thought that he wouldn't have been there to criticize. But I just turned around and said to him, and how many different sizes of nails do you have, Dad? That kind of kept him quiet for a bit. So anyways, so with these pieces here, I've used this banner piece that's right there. And I have gone ahead and cut those out. We're going to have that ready. This toucan was also, I did fussy cut it. And it was this toucan that's here. And I did go ahead and fussy cut it out because we don't have a die that goes with that. And I also fussy cut this particular balloon out. So I'm just going to take a dimensional and put it onto the back. back side of this toucan paper is so cute anyways we're just gonna take that and I'm gonna just line this up here I just wanted a tiny bit of dimension on the toucan as well so we've got that we've got that and then on see a piece of spare piece here we're just going to bring in our mat again and there's Let's Celebrate You stamp set. I'm going to stamp that on the Designer Series paper. And I'm going to do it in Bermuda Bay. Does your space clean and clutter up like that? Mine sure is today. Man, I tell you. Anyways, we're just going to put this here. And then I'm taking this stitch die here and I'm going to cut it out and I've gone ahead and cut that out as well and that's right here okay. so now what we can do is we can start putting all this shaker stuff together now that we've got all our pieces okay so we've got this we've got the window sheet on the back so we're going to bring in our embossing buddy and of course I left my embossing buddy over here I'll just grab it and we want to try to take some of the static off up here I know it's so staticky um, and these sequins trust me they're they're gonna be the life of me let me tell you because they fly all over the place I wish I could spray something anti-static in there I'm gonna bring in that white piece again and we are going to take these sequins. And these sequins, it's almost like they were made to go with this card, right? Because look at the colors that are in there. There's almost this identical colors that are in the Birthday Bonanza DSP. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of these. I'm gonna throw them in the middle. And because with a $60 order here in Canada, you can get these and the twine for free. I'm gonna put a few of them in there put that in there let's see that should yeah that's about right and I'm going to take some of these this strip probably didn't do that in the right order and I'm just going to take this strip and I'm going to pull one off I'm just going to line it up 
on here, along here. And I'll just cut that off with my paper snips. Probably not a good idea because it makes my paper snips so sticky. And I'm gonna line this up here as well. That's a little bit long, but we'll just cut that off. And then the spare piece here, we'll put up here. Now the one thing with these sequins, you wanna make sure that you've got this, this window that you're putting around with this foam, that you've got it good and close so that those sequins don't pop out. Um, if this was that glitter ice, this wouldn't have worked very good on there, but it's these sequins are quite a bit bigger. But you wanna butt it right up to the end there. I'll just kind of put my finger down there and see if I can and cut that off. That's better, that one there. Okay, I'm wondering, should I put some more sequins in there? You know, I'm gonna put a couple more in there. Okay, when I was making this other card, these sequins stuck all to me and they don't seem to be sticking as much as they did. That's good, that's always good. So I'm just gonna take off this backing. These are like strips of dimensionals is what these are. But it sure makes making um, shaker cards so much easier. Okay, almost done there. Okay, so we've got all those strips off. Now, this will be the tricky part. So all we're going to do is we're going to bring this piece back in, and we're going to go down. Now, there's going to be static. Maybe what I should do is go in and give a tiny bit more with that embossing buddy. we are going to, see, static is sticking right to the things there. There we go. There, shake that about. Oops, didn't get that too good there. There, go. Oh, you know what? Why is that not working? Oh, I know why. Because I didn't have the paper over far enough. That is going to be awful. Um, let's see. Should I try to take that off? No. You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to take a strip of Whisper White and just put it along the top here. We're not going to actually glue it along one part of it. See, when you make a mistake, there are ways that you can actually fix it. So this should piece isn't going to be long enough, but it's going to do part of it. Not going to see the back of this, so. No, that is not going to stick up, so i got to pull this up. And then I just need another piece of this for white in there. <laughs> messy card on the back, but oh well. I don't think the little one's going to be taking it apart, but you never know, right? But we don't want those things to be coming out, so let me just put that along there. So that, yeah, we'll just put this up there. Because we do not want those sequins to come out. Now, hopefully that's going to work. Oh, look. Good stuff. I do have some, yeah, works, good, okay. I'm happy with that. Well, I'm not extremely happy, but it's it's not bad. And then I'm just gonna take some of my tear and tape and I'm gonna actually put that across there so that we reinforce that it's not gonna come off. Put some there. Take your quick tool. Well, it was here. Okay, no worries. Just take my scissors and take these off. Put 
one. And the other one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let's get that because I think I've got a big bunch in the middle there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm putting this a little bit more off to the one side and because I didn't layer that up properly, I'm just going to trim this part off on this side just so that we don't see it underneath on the designer series paper. So there you go. I go and I make a bunch of mistakes, but we can fix them. Things are easy to fix, right? All right. So that's going to go there. Now I have my cutout toucan. So I'm just going to just going to do the body. The balloons. We're going to let that just dry a little bit because we don't want that sticking. Or oozing out and then I took these banners and you can see where I put the banners on this card is here so I'm gonna put the banners together first so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue on here and the most important part to put the glue is along the top up here Now I'm going to layer this and I want it to go to the point where we're going to have it like it's going to be layered all up in between. So I'm going to pull that over about there, I think. And this is going to stick to this paper. I know it will. And then we have the Bermuda Bay piece as well. See, that's going to go about there. So, probably more like there. So, I think I put that on the bottom. So, I didn't want, yeah, I'm going to put that on the bottom. So, we're just going to turn this over and put some of this along the top here. And we're going to layer this onto here and we're going to put those pennants so that they're sort of in the middle there. Kind of fun, isn't it? Oh, look, two cans getting stuck to me. So it's time to get this put on. Let's put this guy right here. I have this Let's Celebrate You. And I'm just going to put... Now it's going to be off there, so I'm not going to go right to the very, very end. I'm going to line that up with the side of the card. Put it right there. And then with this banner, I'm going to decide where I want to put it. Let's see. Probably should have put this on before I put that card front on. But that's fine. I'm going to stick a bit of glue here measure it and see where I want to put the other piece of glue. So if I go there, about there. Okay, let's see how that works. There we go. See how those sequins go? I can't believe how well they go with this, um, this suite. It's like they were made to go with this suite. I really think they were because even even the colors, the twine, goes so perfectly with these. Now, this would have been better to trim off um, before I put it on the card, but I'm gonna just trim it off there. Put that there. There. And then we're just going to trim this part off here as well. Well, hopefully I taught you what not to do and give yourself a bit of um, leeway, but there we go. Now, if by any chance you get any glue anywhere, and we're going to do this right now, I just run my embossing buddy along there so that it takes the stickiness away. So there, there you go. There's my shaker card 
they they look a little bit different i guess it's just because of the banner um but it's not too bad so that i i just think this is such a fun card and yeah it's like I'm a little kid because once you do get a shaker card in your hand, it's like you just have to keep on shaking it. So if you do need any of these um, supplies and live in Canada, I'd love to be your demonstrator. You can shop online um, um, online, and use this hostess code. Um, for anybody that does do an online order, I have a tutorial that I'm giving away and the theme for this month is love or Valentine's Day and there's instructions for about 15 items on there. Leave a comment below. Um, please be nice about my errors there. Um, give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate it. Bye. Thanks for stopping by.